Welcome back to Forest News. In this episode, we'll look at how field treatment areas on national forest system lands changed the intensity of the Caldor fire and allowed for community defense. But first, what's a field treatment area? A field treatment area is a location where the Forest Service or our partners have reduced or removed the amount of burnable material, specifically surface and ladder fuels. This can be completed by mechanical equipment or prescribed fire, or what we really like, a combination of both. It also includes ecological thinning, the removal of whole trees to increase crown spacing and reduce tree densities. The combination of these field treatments reduces the chance of a fire moving from the ground up through the shade tolerant species and into the crowns of the trees. And if it does get up there, it further reduces the chance of a fire moving from crown to crown to crown and a high intensity fire. You can see in this fuel treatment area, there's not much surface fuels, no logs, no big sticks. There's, there's no ladder fuels, just big tall trees with some black on them. You can tell this area has been treated with prescribed fire and ecological thinning. Right now, I'm standing in a field treatment area that helped to protect communities of Pollock Pines, California from the Caldor Fire. During its first week of rapid growth, the Caldor Fire continued to move to the east and north, pushing right to where we're standing and the communities right across the street. This field treatment area provided our firefighters an opportunity to use a specific tactic known as a backfire or a firing operation. A backfire is a careful, planned, and deliberate process by which firefighters deliberately set fire to fuels to slow down a rapidly approaching fire. You can see the firefighters started right here on the edge of this containment line. So they're bringing fire away from the neighborhood and into this field treatment area. It did burn a little hot, but nowhere near as intense as the head of the fire. And when you look up, the crowns of the trees are all still here. This backfire essentially created a buffer of very little burnable material between the active Caldor fire and these communities. It takes professional, well-trained firefighters to engage in a firing operation such as this during a dynamic incident like the Caldor fire. In this case, it was the El Dorado National Forest hot shots, but a key component of that strategy was this field treatment area. This zone, free of most burnable materials, gave those firefighters the opportunity to utilize a tool that may not have been available if this treatment hadn't been completed. Over a week later, the Caldor fire spotted into the Lake Tahoe Basin, really close to where we're standing right now. It first spotted in untreated forests, and firefighters on the ground reported extreme fire links over 100 feet tall. As the fire approached the communities and neighborhoods of Myers, California, it first had to cross through the fuel treatment area that we're standing in right now. When a high intensity wildfire enters a field treatment area, it can significantly reduce the flame length due to the lack of hazardous fuels. That's exactly what happened here. Firefighters on the ground reported a change in flame length from 100 feet outside the field treatment area to 20 feet. This created opportunity along with bulldozers to create containment line and directly attack the fire not a single home was lost in South Lake Tahoe. You can really see it right here. This field treatment area allowed the flame links to come down so our firefighters could build this containment line to protect these homes. In both of the examples we've spoke about today, it was the bravery and professionalism of firefighters on the ground that protected the specific neighborhoods of Pollock Pines and Myers, California but it was also the fuel treatment areas that provided that opportunity. Thanks for watching.